actually I should have done this a few minutes ago, turn, them, turn this over to you because I'm not running my own election. Uh, so. I assume we're going to do the secret ballot. We are going to do the do secret ballot. Do you have ballot. people lined up to do the counting? Yes, I do. Okay. But, um, Uh, are there any other nominations? Yeah, I'm not sure. Should the nominations be seconded or not? I think they should be. So, do we have second for the first nomination? I'll that second. We play? I second. Second from Luke here. Uh, and do we have a second for the nomination um, of, of Rusty Savage? Second. Uh, who, who said that? Burn. Burn? Okay. Burn Clarkson seconded the. Any objections to moving to close nomination? Without objection, nominations are closed. You should have, I think, uh, I'm not sure, but I think you should have ballots on your chair, right? Mm -hmm. uh, if everybody has a ballot, um, mark that, and who's going to collect those? Was Randy going to do it? Um, oh, that's right. I, we're going to give speeches. Did we decide two minutes? Two minutes. Um, we'll have two minute speeches from the two candidates. Uh, where's Rusty? Why don't you come on up here? And uh, whichever one of you wants to go first. Uh, Rusty, why don't you start and um, take two minutes? Uh oh. I didn't get a ballot. Just the people who are sitting here oh. in this section are the precinct committee room. They're, okay. they're, 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 they're. Thank you. My name is Rusty Satterwhite. I was born and raised in uh, Idaho in the Magic Valley. Um, I love the state and I love the nation. Um, and that's why I'm here today. Uh, I've committed myself to the Republican platform, to the ideas of the Republican platform, to the principles that are reflected in it. I have sat by and watched for two years the conservative movement be divided by infighting with the inability to come together to achieve common goals. Um, there have been extremely vile tactics deployed. They've been deployed against Republicans by Republicans. And that's hurtful to our common goal. And that goal is to defend our principles, our liberties, and the values the values that are reflected in the Republican platform over and over again. The same values, the same principles that you can find in our founding documents, in the foundation of our nation, the Constitution, the Declaration of Independence. These principles is what gave us our nation. We need to come together united under those principles, under those goals to defend that and move this committee forward. I'm asking you as the voice of your precincts, the voice of the people who elected you to come here today to represent them. Not to represent them in a power struggle, but to represent them and defend their values, defend their principles, and de defend what they hold dear as Republicans. That's what I want. That's what I'm asking you today. I'm asking you to support me so that we can move beyond this division and unite against the coming difficulties that we'll have in the coming election and the progressive liberal movement that is overtaking our nation and even this valley, a valley that has historically been a very conservative Republican valley. Thank you. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Gretchen Clellan, and I'm candidate for Twin Falls County Chairman. Thank you very much for the nomination, Jennifer, and thank you to this committee for, for allowing me this opportunity. I've been a part of this committee for 16 years, and as I was jotting down these notes, I was reflecting on those 16 years, thinking about who we used to be represented by, who we used to be, um, the meetings that we used to have, and, and the difference that we've, we've seen, uh, the difference that I've seen over those last 16 years. There's been a definite movement to the right. Um, some of you don't believe me, don't believe that, but look it up in the history books. That look at who we were 16 years ago, who we were represented by, and look at their voting records. 
Now, there seems to be a voice in town that says we aren't doing anything. I assure you that no matter what the ideologues say, something is happening, and, and those things don't happen overnight. They happen through a process. <coughs> this, is, this party is much broader than any one person. It's a group of ideas, and those ideas are advanced through a mechanism that was laid down by our forefathers. I believe that there is strength in our unity, and we must bring everyone's ideas to the table. I know that the Republican Party is the best vehicle to move these ideas forward. Um, and to accomplish this, we need the right kind of leadership. Someone who understands where we've come from, someone who can see where we can go, <coughs> someone who can build consent, consensus and be, continue to expect and appreciate the diversity among us. One of my favorite quotes is from Abraham Lincoln. It says, a house divided against, against itself cannot stand. 10 years from now, I not only want this house standing, I want it to be the envy of counties around the state. I want it to be an example of how we bring people and ideas together for the greater good. In the two years that I've been chairman, I've gained a ton of experience, and I'll use that experience and leadership to bring us together and continue us down the path. I would appreciate your vote in this election. One for each group. Right? Randy, and then one for each. Somebody who supports Rusty, and somebody who supports <coughs> Gretchen. Maybe the people that you, you guys voted. So somebody goes back. I'll count for Gretchen. Lenny and Whitter. Okay. I can take my seat now, right? <laughs> <laughs> I think my seat now. Where you got to vote. Yeah. Uh, if you don't have a pen, borrow one from somebody. I'll, I've got some here that I can pass around. <laughs> Anyone else need a pen? Anyone else? Everybody got a pen? Okay, let's start collecting. Are you going to write? I'll get one from the bottom. No, this has a pen on it.